Now, it's one thing for them to be hard to see, but do we actually even expect anything to be out at that distance? Well, I mean, remember that we think that our solar system formed from a protoplanetary disk. Yep. So this whole disk of spinning dust and gas around stars, as we talked about earlier. And we can see these disks around other new formed yep. stars out there in space. And they don't have abrupt ends. They just keep on going further out. That's right. And you remember our idea is that, for example, all the mass that was in this ring might form one planet, all the mass that was in the next ring might form the next planet, and so yep. on. So you'd expect roughly equal masses all the way out, maybe gradually dropping off as you get very far away if the disk starts becoming thinner out there. Okay. But nonetheless, you don't expect a sudden edge. That's right. So there should be a bigger disk out there with similar-ish stuff as to what we see on the inside. Yeah. So here's the mass versus distance right. from the Sun, the plot we've looked at before. So this is Mercury, Venus, Earth. And Mars, if you remember, was a bit smaller That's than we'd right. expect. You'd kind of expect the mass to be up around here. And the asteroid belt's truly pathetic. Again, we talked about this earlier. And then you get Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. But then it kind of drops off again. Yeah. So there's Pluto and some other objects we're going to talk about in a bit that are near Pluto. But basically, there's one big gap in the asteroid belt. Um, and we've explained that was That's right. most likely it was because Jupiter migrated exactly. and got rid of most of the things, that ate a lot of them. That's right. And the ones that are left are in highly scattered orbits and often in resonant orbits. That's right. Or not in resonant orbits, the, the Kirkwood gaps. And again, when we go out here, you kind of expect, if you extrapolate that, to have some maybe what we now call super-Earths. Exactly. So something between the mass of Uranus and Neptune and Earth, maybe you three or four or five times the mass of the Earth, something like that. But instead, you Pluto's pathetic, as we'll talk about in a second. Exactly. So you'd kind of expect from this protoplanetary disk that you would keep getting mass further out. That's right. But It doesn't, doesn't seem to be the um, case. Well, as we'll talk about, is this because you just haven't found them, or are there, is there really a gap? And we'll talk about that in a bit.